It's Saturday and that means we're preparing for today's Formula 2 event here in Spa. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside for the start of what promises to be a terrific race. So here we are again, a whopping 4.35 miles of track here at Spa, featuring long straights, some seriously fast corners, and some massive elevation changes. This is a track that routinely delivers high quality racing, and we'll be hoping to see just that from our young F2 drivers today. Davide Valsecchi joins me today. Davide, Spa is a favorite for fans and drivers alike. What tips would you have for these young drivers today? Always a pleasure to be here, Alex. Who doesn't love Spa? I wish I was down there racing today. I would say there's a lot of places to overtake on this circuit. So be patient on that first corner. Try and get through it safely, get a good exit, and get in the right position to attack at the end of the main straight. Well then, after an exciting session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Louis Delatraz lines up on pole position. And P2 goes to Nick de Vries, a strong showing from the Dutch driver. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Matsushita, Tete Camera, Nikita Mazepin, and Joe Eilot, Latifi, Schumacher, Sean Galea, Correa, Giotto, Tatiana Calderon, and Boccalacci, Rag Hunnifer, King, Aitken, and Giuliano Alesi, Boschon, and Antoine Hubert rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. start. Top 10.
job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. That's a race win. You've really been great today. It was touch and go for a while there, but Arden have done it. Great win. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? This is why I love this sport. Their car dominates the track today. You could tell they went in full of confidence with a clear strategy in place. They displayed excellent knowledge of the track and made it count when it comes to some of those more tricky corners, allowing them to make huge gains on some of the less confident corners. I guarantee the fun will certainly be talking about today for a long time to come. And it's time now for the podium celebrations. And how well deserved is this one? This is a team all about giving talented young drivers an opportunity to race and to win. Arden are your winners here today. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Balsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Antoine Hubert, the Arden driver, just surprised me today. He was impressive. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to a classic circuit familiar to fans the world over. This is Monza. You can hear the cars ready to go. Certainly the fans are ready for some action. We're all set, so let's get this Formula 2 race underway.
Monza is one of the fastest circuits in Formula 2, comprising some very long straights and tight chicanes. The engines spend so long at full throttle, in fact, that engine failures are not an uncommon sight here. On top of that, the 3.6 miles of track are pretty hard on the gearbox too. Turn one at Monza is famous, or should we say infamous, for serious contact and incidents, especially on the opening lap. What are your thoughts on that, Davide? Yes, this chicane is a tricky one. A lot of time you see the more experienced drivers hold back from full throttle to keep themselves safe as everyone tries to squeeze into the racing line after the opening straight. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's results with a look at the starting grid. An immense lap from Nikita Mazepin yesterday puts him on pole position. And Nobuhara Matsushita completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have De Vries, Schumacher, Sergio Sete Camera, and Delatraz, Galeo, Latifi, Joe, Kalamilot, Giotto, Boccalacci, Jordan King, and Aitken, Alesi, Correa, Rag Hunathan, and Tatiana Calderon. Boschon and Antoine Hubert rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. so far.
behind us. You've done it! Well done! Brilliant stuff from Arden today. What a superb victory. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I'm not sure what we just saw. But one thing's for sure, today's winner has certainly showed they have no fear battling it down on the track. And who can blame them? I don't think I've ever seen someone it through the competition so quickly. Today's race was a sight to behold, and judging from the crowd's reaction, it went down well with the fans as well. As they make their way down to the podium, there's no denying the strength of the Arden team. Arden aren't afraid to take risks on new talent, and it certainly looks like it paid off today. Fantastic work. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Alex, I go for Antoine Hubert. The other driver, he was spectacular today. What an overtake, fantastic. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. And here in Russia, today's race is about to start. We're at the Sochi Autodrom, and the drivers on the grid are almost ready to begin. Join us as we enjoy today's Formula 2 event.
Let's examine the Sochi Autodrom then. Two DRS zones around this 3.6 mile circuit, one on the long run towards turn two and another leading into turn 13. 18 corners in total and plenty of opportunities for the drivers to push their cars to the limit. With so much time spent at full throttle, engine failures are a risk that teams must be prepared for. With me at Sochi for the Russian event is Davide Valsecki. This is a long and complex circuit. Davide, what are your thoughts heading into it? Hi, Alex. Yeah, you're right. This is still a very exciting circuit. Lot of winding turns and high-speed straights. The racing here should be extremely close from start to finish. I think we'll see a great race today, and I can't wait to get underway. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Nicholas Latifi lines up on pole position, and it's Nikita Mazepin alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Delatrat, Giotto, Sergio Sete Camera, and De Vries, Matsushita, Joe, Correa, Mick Schumacher, Eilot, Galeo, Ralph Boschon, and Hubert, Raghunathan, King, Aitken, and Dorian Boccalacci. Alessi and Tatiana Calderon completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. That's a good start, keep it up.
work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Drive, we did it. Good job. So, another fantastic victory for Arden today. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? What a race, Alex. Every so often we get a spectacular like we did today. Let's focus on strategy and time management and more on just pushing it to the limits and battling it out for those top positions. I think what we experienced today is evidence of why Formula 2 is continuing to draw into crowds. And expect today's race will definitely be turning a few more heads to the series. And it's time now for the podium celebrations. And how well deserved is this one? This is a team all about giving talented young drivers an opportunity to race and to win. Arden are your winners here today. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Antoine Hubert, the Arden driver, just surprised me today. He was impressive. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. It's race day for our young drivers here in the United Arab Emirates, where the Yas Marina circuit is about to play host to the Abu Dhabi Formula 2 race. Let's get started.
Yaz Marina Circuit is a 3.4 mile racetrack built on the man-made Yaz Island. In addition to the 21 corners, it features two very long straights. Now these will be the driver's main overtaking chances today into turn eight and turn 11. I'm sitting here, quite emotional, next to my friend Davide Valsecchi. Here we are at the end of the F2 calendar, and the atmosphere is electric. I have no doubt that the drivers will be giving it everything they have out there today. I can't wait to get underway. Hey, Alex, you are absolutely right. It's a very special place. This is a track like no other, an event like no other, a jewel in the crown of Formula 2. It's perfect. I think we are in for a fantastic racing event here. Here are the starting positions for today's race. An immense lap from Nobuharu Matsushita yesterday puts him on pole position, and Louis Delatraz will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Tete Camera, De Vries, Nikita Mazepin, and Giotto, Joe, Schumacher, Galeo, Nicholas Latifi, Eilot, King, Jack Aitken, and Calderon, Boccalacci, Correa, Boschon, and Antoine Hubert. Rag Hunathan and Giuliano Alesi starts from the back of the grid. And now, it's time to head down to the track. capitalize on that first lap.
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Worked hard for that one. Congratulations. A great win then for the Arden team today. So, Davide, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? This is why I love this point. Their car dominates the track today. You could tell they went in full of confidence with a clear strategy in place. They displays excellent knowledge of the track and made it count when it comes to some of those more tricky corners, allowing them to make huge gains on some of the less confident drivers. I guarantee the fans will certainly be talking about today for a long time to come. As they make their way down to the podium, there's no denying the strength of the Arden team. Arden aren't afraid to take risks on new talent, and it certainly looks like it paid off today. Fantastic win. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Balsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Alex, I go for Antoine Hubert. The other driver, he was spectacular today. What an overtake, fantastic. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.